Now, six foot, just wait here. I'll bring out a post. I'm gonna pass your measuring tape right here. Right here, right here. I need you to measure. You go from the inside of this post where there's a sharp corner on it. There's no weighing on the inside. Yep, that's right. Measure over six foot. Just wait till you get past there though first. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Where's the six foot mark? <laughs> Gotta be on the other side tape measure, that's your problem. Gotta be on that side, yep. Pull it tight. Where's six foot mark? Right here. Right there. Yeah. Good there? Yep. Okay. Don't drop her in the mud. Well, it just went in the mud. We're gonna need a level. Yep. We'll go get one. We need a two by four. Get a bunch of screws. Is that cordless drill in there or did I bring it out? You brought it I out. brought it out, it's right here. But I can't find that level. It's hanging up, remember? Right on the wall beside the sawmill. Remember I said I was gonna hang it up there? Oh, yes. Remember I said that's where it goes? And the other side, this side here, around the corner of that big log, no, no, behind you. That's right on the other side of the left post, the left, see the post right to the left of you? Yeah. The other side of that wall. That's right, we're getting close Oh. Now. I remember you saying you hang it up on the wall, but. <laughs> but. I don't, I didn't know where. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, huh. I see nails there. I'm gonna go right here with that. That should be it. Absolutely. But there's nothing down here. It should have been a little longer. So what I'm gonna do, can you hold that please? Just so it don't fall and hit yep. anybody? Like you or those panels? Got that. Now. You know, I didn't even need that probably. Eh? That's what I'm thinking now. I probably didn't even need that. Uh, call it. Where's that level? Right here. Thanks. This don't matter too much, but remember I said if it's level, then you take measurements off this. That's good. Okay, now you want me to stand this up and I want to see how far we are from the wall there. I think that's good right there. You want to check this out here? You got to straighten that out, babe. I can't do it for you. You got her right there. You got her there? Yep. Oh. 
right, let me see here. It's gotta go this way here. How is this? This is too much. It's good, can you hold that please? Mm -hmm. But now how, I don't know if that's gonna work like that. We're gonna try it, okay? Okay. I should do is measure from the wall here. there and measure from this wall. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. So how far are we from this wall here? We are 13 and a half inches. This is way closer. But that works for me. No, we're 14 inches. Okay. I don't know how we lucked that lucked out on that, but I'm not gonna argue. Alrighty. Okay, where do you want me to put this for now? Any somewhere dry? We're gonna need it, actually, you know what? Hold on to it, because we're gonna need it there anyways. Okay. Because you are gonna have to hold it. Uh, let me see here. Let me see. If we stand up here, is that gonna sink on us? On you, I mean? No, you should be able to hold it like this, right? Mm-hmm. I'll get you to hold that there. Hold on a second, I'll bring over another one here. Make sure. Oh, can I get up here? That'll be good like that. I'm going to do is start two by six, okay, or two by eight. Just hold that there. Mm -hmm. This don't seem to be no uh, twelve foot long, is it? It might be. The bottom might be way longer. Ten foot. How long we go here? We just went ten foot here, right? Or I really think close? so. I know. I, th I think they were ten. Or maybe I'm thinking of the... Well, I think I want to measure and make sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely do that. Ten foot's here. Okay, so they were, they were 12. They were 12, okay. The bottom one, what is it? Is it a 12? I believe it's 12 foot. Not a 12. Six. going to go find a 12 footer if we have one. Now this is a long one. I think what I'm going to do, just go back over there please. Just where I asked you to be, okay? Mm -hmm. I need that level. Yep. You won't need that. Set the level down please so you can grab this. I want to get a few screws started here before I go up. At least I want to get the bottom one anyways. Need that level, please. I'll need it here. Okay. Can you grab your end? Mm -hmm. You're gonna walk that over and walk it up, okay? Yep. You can set it right up here for now if you want. Before you get up there a ways. Then when you get up and get comfortable, then you can grab it. Now I'm going to actually, I'm just gonna set this here. I don't think I need it up there. Hold on a second. Oh, I'm too too high. I'm gonna get fall off. You don't want that. <sighs> Gotta go up higher. Higher. Down a little bit. Get right there. Just keep holding that. It's mm -hmm. okay for you? Yeah, I got it. Huh. 
Just keep holding that. It's not I, screwed together. Yep, I got it. Too close. Bit, but that's really not right yet. You gotta go up. Here, I'm gonna pass you this. Mm -hmm. We're gonna need a two by six to go down here to hold that because there's nothing really holding that on. Okay. I see one in there. Just with some nails in it. See that? See, nope. Yeah, it's in on the scaffold here. See it in there? This one right here? Yep. Yep, yep. Okay. It's just got to go right under here so that can't sag slip down yep that's all i'm gonna put a couple right here You won't go anywhere, right? Right. It can't slide down because it'll hit this. Okay, you stay there then. You don't want to go in any further. Can you get my big nail bar? I think it's hanging up inside somewhere. Okay. Oh, you know what? It might be upstairs. Yes, it is. I see it up. I'm good. See, no, straight behind you over there against the wall. Against those... Against that six by six is holding Bert's lookout up. Oh, I see it. Thank you. Alrighty. Now this. I'm just gonna need you to hold the level. You can set that down somewhere. Now, wait there. I'm gonna okay. need you to get the level. I'll get you to operate that baby. Okay. Here, maybe. Okay. <laughs> Look at that, eh? Oh, it's one of the cut ones. Hey, no, I don't think there's a cut one, is it? Oh, it's oh, seeming like it. No, it's just the, the wall dropped so much, babe. Oh. That's why. See? I think it's probably the right length. It may be cut a little bit shorter, but. I think that's the length we have to deal with. What were these, 10 foots? I'm not sure. Well, we're... 
five inches under 10 foot, that probably would have done it. Oh, I'm gonna measure another, watch that don't fall, okay? Yep, I'll hold it. How long is this one? This one's two inches under 10 foot. So what do we need there to bring up that distance? What kind of blocking do we need? I would say bring over that concrete block. Okay. When I lift this, I'll get you to set it right underneath here. See where it's gonna go there? Yeah, you want it right underneath it? Mm-hmm. No, it, there's no strength that way. It's got to stand up the other way. Okay, I thought you'd want it without the holes. What's that? Never mind, I didn't think the That's holes That's the way you lay them. Okay. We do a house. Now, what I'm going to need is that one inch behind you on top of this. This here? No. The one I just carried over here. Oh. That one there. Just a minute here. Are we ready? Yep. Okay. I still don't think that's enough. We're still gonna need more. Okay, I, there's another one inch over here. Do you want it? Yes. Okay, just give me one second before you even lift that. Greening slush. Stay. Turn the screw facing inward. That's right. Is that better? Yeah, where's that level? Ooh. I'm hoping it's gonna sit about there. I'm hoping that's where it'll be. Thank you. Do you want me to hold the thing for you? Hold that, please. Yep. Got to move it over a bit. Don't run away with it. I'm not going to run away. Okay, now let's check that. That's good there. Oh, hold on. Mm -hmm. Everything's got to be shifted out that way. Okay. <laughs> like my way. Yep, towards the house. The whole thing, the bottom too. Okay. Got to go more yet. The whole thing's got to be shifted again towards the house. Grab the whole bottom board, the very bottom board, not the brick, but the whole bottom board. Okay. okay. Got to try. See that? Hold that. Got to go in a bit. Mm-hmm. Check that out. And this. And about there. Okay. I'll get you to hold that just like that. Okay. This. <laughs> Sorry. Did you put extra water and mud on your glove? No, it was when I moved the the when I moved the bottom board. Huh. It sunk so much in the mud and water. I got it all over my gloves. And then flicked it on my Face and on you too, I'm guessing. I noticed that, yeah. You're welcome. Mm. Okay, there. Okay, you know, let go. Now, can you grab me that long two by six that's in there on the, uh, I think it's up on the scaffold. Find it? Yep, I'm, I'm coming. I'm going to get you to slide that right up tight. Okay. 
make sure it's even with the sides of this six by six and the slider all the way up. You gotta move it over up on up the top on your side. Good there, right? Um, you could be over more. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, but you can't go by just the one side. Though. Okay then. Lift her up higher. That's that's it. Here, so you gotta even the space out. Hey, hey, hey. Should have be glasses on too, babe, so you don't get sawdust in your eyes. Good grief. Let go. Now, can you find me a short two by four or something just so I can put another brace from the wall out? Okay. A short two by four? Just to go along here. Two by four, two by six, it don't matter, Heather. I'll get one from upstairs. There, I don't think there is anymore. Oh. May have to mill some later, that's all, to brace this up better. I can just hear the safety guys now. Oh my goodness, that's not safe. How dare you do that? Can't find any? No. I, like, like I said, I could go upstairs and look in case there's something up there. Yeah, go ahead, but I don't think there is any. But it's your time, baby. It's your time. I'm going to pause this and look around. Keepers. Alrighty. I think what I'm going to do first is see where, where or where. One here, one there. I'm going to go somewhere about here just so I know it's not going to kick out. This will help hold it in a bit here. About there, I think. You know, right there, I think. Yeah, yeah. It's not gonna hold the post up, but what it's going to do is hold it in case it ever tries to in case it ever tries to shoot out that way at the bottom. Mm -hmm. That's all it's for. Out of the way here. Right. I think about there. Can you come hold that? Yep. Where? Here, and then right up here. Oh yeah, oh, yes.
do you think of that? Hey, eh? it's good. Then we've got the spots. I'm gonna see if two foot line up there, and if they do, then I will put the floor joist right. I'll, I'll put the hangers right back where they come off of. But I don't think they're going to line up. That should be pretty solid now. I gotta do another one here, but I think that's probably for tomorrow, right? Right. Because we have a few things we gotta to do tonight. Yes. Anyways, we got that done. It's not supposed to rain or snow or anything tomorrow, so that's a good thing. Alrighty. Well, no, that's what we got so far. Uh, we did some other things this morning. We had to run to town this morning. I thought it was going to be quick, but it turned out it wasn't. Anyways, we got these. So that will be another uh, 12, 14 feet done on the scaffold here. And there's just eight, about nine feet here to go on this side. Because there's eight foot from there over. And then there's another foot or so. That's not too bad. I could probably span that in. I could probably do a complete eight footer across there from where we are to there. We don't have to go right to the edge. I'm not really concerned about that. And then we'll put this other post up tomorrow. So we're going to have to set it up on something like that again. And I don't see that going anywhere because it's anchored to the wall. So it's not going to go this way and it's not going to pull out. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm happy with that. And I'll probably put a couple of braces down too later. But we're going to be working on this uh, for a little bit anyways, for at least a month or so. You know, we'll yeah. be up there for a month or so working on that, doing that. Yeah, doing the front wall. Doing the front wall. Yeah, it'll be about a month or so, at least. You know, by the time we do the tin, by the time we frame in that fly rafter, we're looking at a month or so. Yeah. Because we still have to mill a bunch of material for it. So now tomorrow what we'll have to do is we'll have to stand two more six by six up on this side here. Right here. Right there, two six by sixes there. And then we'll put our joist hangers and then we'll continue in the deck. We'll continue sheeting in the deck up there. And then there's just the last section here to go. And right here, as soon as it dries up, we can use Bert's scaffold up there if we want to on that section. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be too bad. Or build just a short little set of scaffold there. You know, and that way we can use his scaffold up on top of that, I think. But, I'll show you what else I've been doing here. I have been working on this today. I have to change the oil pump. So I had to, so I, I didn't have to, but I removed the hood where it's easier. Removed the hood, started taking the front cover off. The timing belt's not bad. It's an original timing belt too on that thing, so it did not too bad. It was all sealed up good. No stones or fine sand got in there. It didn't chew up the belt. So I ended up getting the all the motor mount bolts loose. And uh, I got the parts. All I'm waiting is for a 41 millimeter crow's foot to tighten up the timing belt because you need a crow's foot because it's the water pump actually that turns to tighten up the timing belt. Once that's done, then we have our new tires to put on it and weld up the bottom of the rocker panel. So while I'm at it, I have two brand new lower control arms. I know I just replaced the lower control arms a while back, but the bushings are bad already. And I tighten them up the way you're supposed to. I put the weight on the vehicle and tighten them up that way, but it's a rough road here, so they don't last long. Even the, even the ball joints were beat on those uh, lower control arms. That's two years those lower control arms and the ball joint so we bought another two they're not expensive because you can't press the rubbers in and out of these where they go straight up through the frame they're like a round puck and they're molded in there anyways they're not expensive so then i want to weld up the rocker panels change the lower control arms put the tires on it still starts and runs good it's quiet other than if i let it run too long it starts to make noise and the oil pressure drops right off and i change the filter i check the pressure relief valve I ordered a brand new oil pump for it. Have a new oil pump, new water pump, new idler pulley, new uh, timing belt. Ordered a brand new thermostat for it. And I have the lower control arm. So I have most of the stuff. I'm just waiting for the thermostat. Thermostat and the housing is all one piece on this. And I also am waiting for that crow's foot 41 millimeter. I could probably just borrow a 41 millimeter crow's foot. But anyway, 
So that's what we did today. We cleaned, uh, we cleaned this out in here. We uh, backed the ATV and the log trailer out. And then I unhooked the ATV and I pushed some, some uh, sawdust in here, out of here. I pushed it out here so I could work in here. Push it up into there. And uh, then I'm gonna change the trunk on it and Heather and I this summer, we're probably going to go at it and paint it. It won't be, it won't be a really expensive paint job. It's probably gonna be like a $200 paint job or less, right? Mm. Two or $300 yeah, paint yeah. job, just to make it look better. Yep. Not sure what color. Maybe we're gonna to try to find a, another orange or something like that. That's orange, right? It's an, Yeah, it's like a burnt orange or something. I should be wearing my, all of my, my glasses, color blindness correction glasses, they don't work in a building, they only work outside in the bright. Yeah. I should be wearing them anyways, but anyways, in here it's hard to see with my glass on. I'll set that here, babe. There you go. And uh, I'll add some footage too to this. Some of you folks probably didn't know, but Heather and I, we, we, uh, I painted up the bobsleds really quick in the basement and uh, I polished the windshield. I found the old windshield I had here. It was all painted black. I cleaned that all up. And then what else? I recovered the seat, right? Real yes. quick? Yes, yep. On the Alpine, I'll show them here and then I'll show them some footage of, it's dirty now, the Alpine, but I'll show you some of the footage that, real quick, what it looked like when we were out. We took it to a, a vintage snowmobile show. How it's looking right now. Paint up the old bulb sleeves real quick. Give it a trim clad tune up. Just went and bought some cans of cheap trim clad spray paint. We did it in the basement. And then I bolted the winch back on there. It'll stay on there. The other thing I did too is recover the seat really quick. Doesn't look great, but it's there. And this windshield's dirty now, but it did polish up a lot better than that. But at least you can see through it. It's just dirty right now. That is how our little rig looks. And I think we're not gonna be able to use it much more this winter. Maybe a few days because we are all mostly mud. There's not much snow here anymore. Maybe a little bit out in the field, but not much. So that's how that is looking. Anyways. You folks take care and uh, try to talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye, hmm. all. Bye. -bye,